for for Tuesday, uh, a bit later than usual. Starting like today at the time I usually end my streams. Oh, sleep rhythm is so fucked up at the moment. It's really hard. But uh, well, I'm awake as fuck, and uh, let's play some dwarf fort. <laughs> so yeah, now OBS seems in the green, and uh, things are working. Yay! Had a bad start a second ago. Um, anyway, we are still on 42.05, uh, 42.06 is actually out, uh, but there's no new startup back yet, and the Avaka and such haven't been upgrade, updated yet. Next version, uh, you can apparently set like uh, specific job details and such, like uh, if you carve figurines, you can make figurines of a certain dwarf, you could make... Uh, Lots of uh, Morty sta figurines or statues, even uh, I think. But yeah, that's there's no new lazy new pack yet, slash uh, deep started pack. So we're gonna do without that. I'll say your mess here. Huh? This caper is on cable, but she doesn't want that. No. <laughs> um, also, while we're here, uh, the Patreon still exists. Uh, we're at 210. And uh, yeah, that is still going. And uh, you can still get yourself dwarfed if you give me a back a month. That would be nice. <laughs> um, okay, with that all said, let's actually load up the game. Um, let's see if I actually have the chat in a good position now. Notice last time on the YouTube stream that yeah, things were a bit off. Um, first of all, get back to normal scroll. Uh, looks okay. Uh, is that ah, that was too too wide. This is how the chat should be. Okay, <laughs> it will all be always be sense <laughs> alien. It's no use trying to fix that. <laughs> um, okay, so here we are, our fortress of Blazes Castle. Um, at the top here, uh, let's just skip a second. Um, there's a lot of bolts. We can finally got like our archery squad up and running. Uh, what's with all these axes over here, by the way? Uh, huh? What? Does that mean they have like been cancelled or something? Huh? What? Since when the dust does that show? Oh, I touched it. Mic here. Uh, I kind of need my hands on the keyboard for this game, please. Ha! <laughs> huh. So this. Well, we had, didn't have this last time, and the app hack or something hasn't updated. But it shows access where the jobs haven't cancelled. It seems like. So I know there's like a Tetris block of cancellations here. Huh. Uh, huh. That's weird. But it works. Uh, well, let's uncancel that. Uh, this might take a while. <laughs> we'll do the tour in a second. Gives people some time to come in as well. Um. Wish there was like a command that we could uncancel them all or unsuspend them all. Is there such a thing? Feels like a thing that could be in D of Hacks somewhere. I have no idea though. And now they're all gone. Huh. Nice. Uh, yeah, sieges can definitely happen in maps this small. Uh, not much room for it, but uh, they'll definitely walk around the for forest fortress. Good thing is, 
I don't have to build archery towers since my, I can shoot from everywhere on the map like this. That is very nice. Uh, like if I press escape here, oh, that, no, there's just no cues here. Huh. Okay. Um, so let's do the tour. Um, this is the top level at the moment. So well, actually, this is the top level at the moment. Uh, figured out that with maybe some walls next to fortifications, our dwarf is like f forced to stand next to the fortification, so they have a better chance of actually shooting out and. Shooting out is working. All that stuff you see on the side, those are arrows. Or bolts even. Lots of silver bolts around here. Uh, I think I did a DBC command last time. Let's, let's do one. Do another one. A couple of down. Down as well. And yeah, that needs to be picked up. Um, we have dwarves. Not super many yet. We lost a lot of dwarves last time. Uh, due to things, <laughs> magma crabs and um, that were infestation, where lore's infestation, that was a thing. But yeah, uh, so this is top level, uh, I still have to fill in this, a uh, little below here, we're trying to make barracks over here, but we had the refuse stockpile over here, so there's still a lot of crap there. Oh, these are probably vermin remains. Yeah. Uh, we might not have O R uh, O V on, and that's why they won't move the vermin remains. That'll make things uh, a bit better. Um, let's see. There's also still the uh, the old wagon. How about that? We remove that. Um, let's see. We go down. This is all the entrance level and <laughs> temporary uh, dormitory slash dining room. Um, you have a sand collection zone over here and a trade depot like usual and also our pit is pretty deep it's like three levels maybe even four levels deep so if anything falls in the pit here in the moat then uh, yeah it'll take some damage uh, what's all these V's at the bottom anyway uh, a vulture mangled corpse <laughs> okay looks like we shot down some vultures um, Anyway, tour, that, that was level uh, min minus one. Minus two here, uh, or zero, <laughs> is uh, our farms and our uh, sheep stockpile, uh, slash puppy stockpile, but we lost most of our dogs due to them killing camels, or killing camels killing them. And yeah, you must right in front of the mic now, just lying there. <laughs> oh, very goody. Um, the next level down we have our um, brewery slash kitchen and our turkey stockpile which are, is pretty filled he didn't have enough uh, dwarves to like, hold the eggs out for a while <laughs> so now there's a ton of eggs and uh, a ton of chickens and turkeys and there's even some actually ducks yay level down um, I think this is what is the rest of the everything stockpile um, Animals, ammo, bars, blocks, weapons, armor, sheets, additional options here. Yeah. Uh, what's this one for? Uh, wood. Uh, there's an extra wood stockpile. Um, down here is our indoor refuse chamber, as usual. Um, so we can store that. Down some more is where we're storing well, food and drink. And uh, building a tavern over here, and we should do things like a temple and a library and a dormitory and a dining room. We should actually like, get that up and running. And down some more. Uh, standard cro stone crafting level. And have a little side room here for the more good stuff. Doing crust that, like I did last time. Could be a couple of doors in here. Sure. Let's place those. Uh, down some more. Crafting for leather and cloth. We, have, we haven't done much with that. Uh, there's not much stuff in the stockpile. Level, a couple of levels we haven't done anything with. Uh, then we go down. Uh, there's the first level of cave here. And there's still no trees growing in that cave. It's just too short. 
cave however is full with uh, elk birds which I think we can really use also there is a forgotten beast I forgot about that yeah set to Goslo Sodor forgotten beast set to the mist of deeps uh, can we like set on him towering feathery earthworm with a spiral shell and a bloated body <laughs> With uh, a dented body and a dented shell. He's been killing everything that's uh, in this cave level. <laughs> um, down some more. Our graveyard. And a lot of dead dwarves. A lot of them. Like at one point we survived with just one dwarf left. Um, and then migrant wave came in. And then we survived. Lots of people dead here. Like, uh, yeah. Some named ones infected. <laughs> Super Kamio, Shinrato, Aramin, Lord Ampersand, another infected dwarf. Lots of uh, slabs here because we lost all the corpses. Um, another Shinrato? Huh. I guess I named him twice. Draconel, Lord Ampersand. Huh. Maybe I just made slabs for some people extra. That dwarf infected. Uh, not much else named, and of course the Grave of Morty, you saved us like two, three times. <laughs> but still died due to magma crabs. Um, left here is our corpse stockpile. Down some more. Uh, not much is happening until we get to the magma levels. And uh, another cave. Oh, yeah, no. First, here is. Um, our resident where lord is. He is uh, called infected exclamation mark. We locked him in here because he is, yeah, this is our hospital. And uh, yeah, we were just, we I knew there was some, some infected in the fortress. We put them all in the hospital here. And then we walled it off because yeah there's much not much we can do about it. Um so this well that we built goes nicely into the river and some some dwarves also fell into here and then tried to climb out it was terrible it was not safe so instead of that I built my own second well room over here so we have in the water um, let's see uh, down some more uh, third cave level not much going on there but down here is the deep forging burrow. We got some actual forging going on now. Uh, making lead flasks and some other stuff and electrum statues. Uh, also trying to get some glassworks up and running. Uh, we still need masonry apparently. Hmm. Yeah, it would be nice to get the glassworks up and running because I would like to trap some animals. like. There's a lot, usually like a lot of camels running around on the surface. Um, not today it seemed like. No, no, there is. Also, there's a Baroness, Baroness concert. We is a guest and reciting poetry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we might be able to catch some of those two, two humped camels. Mm, yeah, no real use for the, all the temples, huh? Just make one temple and that's probably enough. Um, we could set that up. Um, let's see. Probably should put... Uh, this leads to the dining room, or the indoor refuse stockpile. Um, let's put the least used room on that. I guess we'll put the dormitory here. Um... Dining room here, the temple here, and library here. Yeah, why not? Uh, let's also place some doors in and maybe finish the rooms in the uh, tavern. And maybe make some bedrooms for our dwarves as well, but we're still kind of low on wood. Uh, we probably will be for a while. Is there a door in here? I think so. 
Um, we could at least set that stuff up. And was there a way to like make a temple out of anything? Maybe out of coffer. We could make make a room um, like that. Uh, let's place a bed here so we can make this a dormitory. And we still have the tables and such. Yeah. Make this dining room. That'll do for now. Um, let's see if they... I can make this. Uh, the uh, the temple with out of a coffer probably maybe try the same for the library and are these just meals by the way yeah we need more barrels um well, we can make those out of uh, iron, out of lead or something. We have enough of that. Lots of hauling going on. Um, I probably still don't have enough doors. Uh, you, you'll never have a job, so don't look at him. <laughs> That's the one dwarf which uh, is stuck in his little room. Hmm. Uh, maybe I should like give him a job like... Manager or a bookkeeper? I don't think the bookkeeper actually like needs to walk around the fortress, does he? The bookkeeper just sits at his table and counts stuff. Same with the manager, he does his, does his job just from a table. And, you know, you got the manager like in this little corner over here. That is uh, Phil Miller, I guess. Ah, okay, this is been placed. Now, what if we make a room out of this? Um, we cannot assign. Yeah, you know, we cannot assign it. Not from a cover then. Um, <laughs> cat pain stream. <laughs> cat pain. That's the style of captain. <laughs> yeah. Um. I wish we, is there another way to make a temple all the way that otherwise that a bed like could we make it from a bed uh, we could assign this a location uh, button add location yeah so it doesn't have to be like a uh, a thing <laughs> a, um, a zone that's how I usually set them. And uh, that means that just dwarves walk around there even when they're not really want to go there. Uh, so I guess we should just place a bed in these rooms. Uh, let's double that bed up as well. Give me a job where he just flings his body into magma. Well, I have to create a pathway for that. I'm just gonna let him just be stuck there in his room. Hmm. I guess maybe I could put him at the bottom of the, the moat, but yeah, then he might be able to climb out. And we'll see. Yeah, there's a, there goes a chicken to be slaughtered or turkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I stream this every week, uh, me boss. Uh, every Thursday usually, usually earlier than this though, like four hours before this. Uh, yeah, sleeping rhythms. Uh, that's a vermin in the food room. That is a problem. Um, I think I will make a meeting area here. Just to, so the cats come by and slaughter them. Um, I 
Oh yeah, and we need like a, a stockpile for mugs over here. Um, that would be goods, I think. Um, let's have multiple ones, actually. Better idea. Make it this big. Then remove a lot of it. That's probably good enough. That's one stockpile. Uh, in this stockpile, we'll only have mugs. Um, goblets. Yeah. Because they'll, they'll want, want a drink before they... Want a mug before they can drink something. Um... And there's already some goblets in there. Probably stone mugs. Yeah, quartzite mugs. And then some, some really good ones. Nice. Uh, some of these beds have been placed. So, if we set this as a room, uh, we could assign it location. Add location, uh, library. Uh, we actually technically have a library. Same with this. Uh, this would be a location. That would add location to the temple. Uh, to, well, no specific deity. That works. Um, this room will be a meeting hall and just a dining room. Uh, well, if it's a meeting hall, then it is a dining room. So, that'll work. Um, okay. Still people sleeping on this bed, even though they're not really supposed to, but hey. Uh, how much beds do I have left? Because the wood is a problem. Wagon wooden beds. <laughs> Two whole beds left. I should be careful with those. Um, well, what I could do is... Deconstruct the beds over here. And tables and such as well. None of people do that do that up here. Uh, this down here is our temporary really tiny uh, barracks. Um once the surface here gets finished. Well actually they can move over here because this bedroom is done. Uh, it'd be nice though if it you stop this from leaking. Um, yeah, I think everything was entirely made on the quartzite. Uh, has this one been made? No. Let's build that again as well. Huh? Yeah. So this one has been made, so we should be able to build a door there. So we stop the room from leaking, and we have our little room over there. Um, how much time into this? This is the year 126, we started in 125, it's nearly 127. So that's uh, nearly two years in game. And this is the third stream of Blazer's Castle. And usually the streams go for like four or five hours. So, yeah, that's what you can see. You can probably count up better than me, I guess. Um, still, the surface going crazy. Uh, not lost camels. One day we'll, we'll finish like these trap lines, and we'll capture a lot of them. Um, it's been very annoying, like this, though. What if we like get our spear dwarves uh, to do something? Get over here, so they'll scare away the camel some more. They seem to be keeping out of that corner. Um, these, of course, are cancelled. No, they aren't even. Huh. No one just gotten around to that.
Uh, no, no sieges yet. We'll probably get one today, I think. Uh, oh, this has been done. Uh, make a bedroom. This is a barracks. Set the IQ. Set the IQ. Set the IQ. For now. Uh, then we can stop this one. Remove the bed. That's some more room over here. And um, how are things going down here? With forging. Uh, those orders are done. Looks like. What do we still have left? Uh, still lots of lead, a bit of silver and a bit of electrum. Well, we need barrels apparently, so let's make some leaden barrels to store our drinks in. What can go wrong? Um, I think that's furniture, some lead, and uh, that would be a barrel. Is it not furniture? I think maybe under pots would also work for this thing, but I think barrels are bigger. Um, furniture, lead. Ah, here I'm fucking blind. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. Um, let's maybe add a couple of buckets as well while we're at it. And uh, then a whole lot of barrels. Yeah. Lead poisoning. Ah, uh, that's no problem. Like, uh... We could even make some lead cho toys for the children to play with. No problem at all. <laughs> Done that in old, old castle. Um, here some uh, lead goblets to drink out of and some lead toys for the children <laughs> yeah totally fine <clears throat> that will get made <laughs> and it's like copper is kinda running out though 61, not really. Um, silver is kinda. We should melt more stuff. Um, melt everything you can. Here, yeah. Poet is visiting. Hey, we don't need to make, if only we could make leaden beds, that would be nice as well. Um, so, squad is still here, but these are not being worked on. Uh, well, whence... Huh? Um, someone get the mood or something? Yeah, Rokstutski got the mood. Uh, what I was trying to do is... Cancel that order. Okay. What? <sighs> Damn it. Are we having this again? Yeah, the first stream we had a lot of problems with crashes. Struck and stream we hadn't any at all. And uh yeah, now it's back and now we've done nothing tonight. Nothing at all. God fucking damn it. Um Yeah, that's well, 30 minutes wasted. Yeah, well, 10 to 15 minutes of that were probably like intro and tour, so it's more like 15 minutes wasted, but still annoying as fuck, though. 
Hey Skippy, we just had a crash. Losing 15 minutes of gameplay because crashes. Um, where was I? What did I do? Uh, I set stuff down here. I figured out that using beds is the like, best way for this. Okay, um, I think that was most of what I did. I had the goblet stockpile over here in the middle. Uh, make a nice three by three. This stockpile only has. Fuck, it's furniture goods. Well, I can just change that. Um, goblets. Okay. Um, I don't think I did much else. I play some doors. Um, and some orders down here, but these aren't done yet. Uh, after that's done, make me some lead barrels. Okay, and the cues on the surface here. Let's just start with this little corner. Um, that is fine. Uh, you know what? Let's save. Don't want to do that again. <laughs> Let's see if it crashes on load again. Yep. <laughs> uh, I like rebooted my computer like before this as well. To like maybe uh, less, less problems just. Apparently there's a big bug in uh, this version of 4205. Um, fun times. Very fun. Um, okay. Well, that we just need the game to run for a while. I also, also remove the wagon. Um, Let's see until this gets placed. And then I'll place it through a door here. Um need to stop stuff from leaking. Doesn't seem to be a door there. Did I hide that somehow? Open. Oh well. Um, there's Era again. Era, I'm kind of busy. Oh. <laughs> he keeps walking around. Um, okay, so this is a dormitory. This um, is a nothing. It's a location, add location, library. Uh, this give a location. Add location temple to no specific deity. The sanctum of universes. Okay, I'll also uh, put a meeting room in here to make sure the cats go there and take care of the vermin. Okay. This will be the dining room, which is also a meeting hall. Perfect. Now that was definitely all I did earlier. So <laughs> let's do a save 
for surezies. Do not want to crash this again. But I saw letters in that window, so I think we'll load this time. Yeah. When there's no letters in that window, then it will crash on load. Um. Okay. Oh, our house been built. You're cancelling this. Oh, uh, the O R O V O V order. Get that vermin corpses, otherwise, still never clean this up. Um, and who has problems reaching a site? Is there problems with the Deep Forge Bureau or something here? What are you doing, uh, Uriskma 4? Walking here and then walking away. What if I DBC the stuff? I, I think he wants to get that wheelbarrow, but he won't for some reason. Iris McFour is scared of a wheelbarrow and he keeps doing it. What? Now he's doing, doing some other jobs, but then, oh, now do the wheelbarrow thing again. Uh, now, huh. A dwarven child that being possessed instead of uh, the guy we had a second ago. Claim the craft dwarf. Um, what's that stuff on the left, by the way? Is that vermin still? Oh, no, he, this is where the turkey skulls go. Good. We can encrust those. And you are doing things. Uh, we're still making crowds forever, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, How do I do that? <laughs> you just gotta keep him busy. <laughs> gotta keep him busy. I still don't have enough dwarves. You could like use some more doors for some specific holding jobs. Uh, what are you two doing on the left, by the way? Uh, I still have a rock order going on, huh? Yeah, uh, I'll keep that going. Using those man the managers are pretty good for that. Talking about writing in Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> the source code of Dwarf Fortress is uh, probably quite a thing. Also, we have the thing now. Um, the Dwarven Child has created Zellery Dash, a gumquad wood figurine of dwarves. Well, let's take a look at that. Uh, also, we have some extra books apparently. Let's see. Uh, the Prime Moistness, a Kumquat Wood Figurine of Dwarves. This is a Kumquat Wood Figurine of Dwarves, all craftsmanship is the highest quality. The item is a masterfully designed image of dwarves in Kumquat Wood by Datan Kikron Datan. The dwarves are traveling, the artwork relates to the foundation of Blazer's Castle by the plated sabers of the Wall of Naming in the early spring of 125. It is decorated with gumcut wood and one humped camel leather and encircled with bands of violet cut yellow sardines. Yeah. It, uh, well, it's at least about our fortress when it got founded. That's pretty nice. Mm, all is definitely going on. It's still, there are people idling. Oh, the smiths. I think that's probably means their order here is done. 
it is. Uh, how is my stock doing? Still lots of lead, lots of copper, tiny bit of silver. Uh, let's make sure they melt everything they can. Uh, I don't think there's anything else on the list. Uh, silver is the most important thing. Um, let's see, I want another order of lead barrels. Uh, I want an order of lead um, cages, also nice, for now. Uh, some other objects, some lead, uh, extra goblets to drink out of, and toys for the children. Yeah, fine. Um, Okay, still one idler, and yeah, uh, that's the guy stuck, probably. No, it's a fucking child. No, it's the king consort. Whatever. Else, you should maybe think about making the, the stairway all the way to the bottom a bit wider, uh, if that's possible. Huh. What are miners doing, by the way? Uh, no job. Uh, there's also petition. Uh, sure, I think we'll start improving everyone because you can use bars after a while for hauling. So that's a thing. Let's see if I try and make this stairway wider. Like, make another upstairs here. That would be a problem here. Here it kind of switches levels anyway. Um, but here, good work. Um, well, let's dig that out. Um, there's the level they switch here. Downstairs, uh, up downstairs. Multiple levels to here. Build me an upstairs here. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Build a fortification because this leads into the caves. Um, this will make things a tad faster. And also, if I do a thing like here. Build a down staircase here, and build another up staircase here, and then this connection, um, the top tile, yeah. DJ. Up down to here. We're just an up staircase here. That's fine. Um okay, that's the stair widened to this point. Um and yeah, then the main staircase going upwards. How do we get that through the first cave cavern layer? Um, we don't really. Maybe here or here. Do I have these next to each other though? Um, or actually, this style is safe, isn't it? Uh, so this is start, safe. Is actually safe. Yeah, yeah. And then we can go all the way down to 
this level. That's not safe. Well, it can go all the way down to like here, and then we switch with another stairways here. Yeah. Um, maybe a level above that. So start with an up staircase, not on a level above this, but a level above that. Uh, do a down staircase here. I here. Build me an up staircase here. And then from this level onward. The I. Dig me a staircase. All the way up. Through here. To here. And this level build an upper staircase. Okay. Uh, after doing all that, I'm gonna save again. <laughs> uh. It might not crash. We will let us in the text box. Okay. Um, that's good. Ah. Oh, and the um, room up here. Actually, but look at that. Better if that's a quartzite door. Hmm. So now we don't see the queue again. Uh, we had those exits showing up here in the beginning of the stream. Which showed us which ones haven't been made. Uh, but now that's gone. I wonder why. Does anyone know how to turn that on and off, or and off, or off even? Because it was quite useful. Okay. Um. Changed like since that load. Don't think anyone really anything really changed. There's McFour making masterpiece lead barrels. Good job. Trout. Okay. Uh, there was a petition available. Uh, sure. Get some spoonie bards in. Let's see if we can, like, maybe get some to do a job. Like, here's uh, two spoonie bars at the bottom. If I look at him, at his labors, BL, no labors available. I think it might take a while before they actually take labors. Oh, hey, there's another forgotten beast, also in the same cavern layer. The forgotten beast, Esnust Mudos. Dosp has gone. A towering beakless night jar. Night jar? Night jar? What? <laughs> you think of a jar of piss like maybe next to the bed? Night jar? Maybe it's a creature or something. Anyway, it has a, fair of, a pair of fan like antennae and a gaunt appearance. Its pumpkin feathers are long and sparse. But where is deadly dust? 
That's uh, scary. Um, night jar. Oh, it's a bird. Okay. It's some sort of proto owl. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> they look like this at least. It's sort of mini owl thing. Okay. A night jar. Never heard of that. Anyway, a night jar, a bird, and a worm for Golden Beast. And I hope they fight. <laughs> let's see what happens. Uh, uh, let's see. This one is the the earthworm with the shell. And this one is the, the bird. Uh, oh god. Oh, that must be its deadly dust. Uh, yep, Forgotten Beast. Frozen Extract. Uh, I think they're fighting under there. Also, there are like um, fortifications blocking my way up here. So that Forgotten Beast Extract rises up to here. It very well might. We might have a problem. Oh boy. Um, are they still both there? I only see the. This is the earthworm, I think. Yeah. Um. I guess the earthworm won. <laughs> I guess still three, the early bird that catches the worm. Um, let's check the combat reports. Here they are. Uh, this one is C2. Uh, let's see C2's combat log. Um, here at the end. It's Forgotten Beast against Forgotten Beast in a combat log. That's really not helpful. Um, uh, yeah, Forgotten Beast do fight each other. I've had it before. That the dancers, like in that one fortress, which kept fighting each other forever because they couldn't kill each other. Uh, the troglodytes that are fighting as well. The Forgotten Beast kicks the Forgotten Beast in the mouth with his left foot, and the injured party smashed into the body. An unrecognizable, unrecognizable mass. He misses. Uh, he's caught in a cloud of endless bone falls. Forgotten Beast throws an extract. Forgotten Beast grabs the Forgotten Beast by the shell with his left wing. Attacks, but he jumps away. Extract, extract, extract. Forgotten Beast bites the other beast in the in the body, bruising the muscle and bruising the guts. Extract. Uh, kicks it in the shell, bruising it. Kicks it in the shell, bruising it. Don't see like a kill in there. Maybe the other log. Um. The Forgotten Beast kicks it in the head. Ah, yeah. The Forgotten Beast kicks the no, troglodyte in the head with its right foot, and the injured part is explodes into gore. Um, huh. How about the uh, unit list over here? There's just what? No, there's still two Forgotten Beasts. One is over here. Okay, so they're still alive. Okay. And now they're fighting. Yep. Well, will the early bird get the worm or not? Or I guess they're tired. Uh, look, let's look at the wounds here. He's distracted, <laughs> and he's there. And they're fighting again. Misses caught in the in the, the dust in the clouds. Should be about the same log here. Yeah. So the dice come by. God, I hope that doesn't. The vapor doesn't rise. Hey, is that a kill? City Oslo, Oslo. I think that was the worm. 
Uh, this is the nightjar. Yeah. So the bird got the worm. <laughs> okay. That's a shame. I'd rather the worm would have won because the worm didn't have dust. Uh, he's tired. Let's take a look at the log, by the way, before things go on. Um, this should be the worms. Um, yeah, here's the killing kick. He bites it in the body, bruising the muscle and bruising the brain. Yeah, now we have this uh, extract excreting creature all over the caves. And hey, there's some Dralta coming in, and which immediately gets slaughtered. <laughs> yeah. Um, does this? It's a bird, but does it have wings? Yes, it does. Otherwise, I'd maybe close the pathway. Actually, what I should do? Maybe way smarter than opening and closing the pathway. Let's just build a fucking wall around it. We won't have sight in there anymore. Well, that's fine. Um, yeah. Just build me a wall. Like here. And dig away. Priority one. These tiles. Yeah. Maybe add like another passageway so we technically have sight in there. Just a uh, dwarf needs to walk around there. <coughs> the crowd goes wild. Ugh. Things happening down there. Hey, more dust. Oh boy. There. Killing those Raltas. And we're building that wall. This uh, makes the fortresses that that safer. Okay. Um, we build a door here and like here. If the damage was done, it probably would have been done already. But hey, there's those are webs. Just cape spider silk. Okay. And I guess this is miasma. Yeah. Things rotting in the cave. Fun times. Um. So how are things going up here? These still haven't been built. Um, these have been suspended again. This room can be set. Barracks, ZTIQ, ZTIQ, ZTIQ. So is there a, is there a mass unsuspend command? Um, D, B, D, O, D. Hmm. Because yeah. I kind of want this floor to be done, and it keeps suspending. I don't want us to do that manually for every single tile again. Um, is there like a command to do that, like in a box select with the hack or something? Anyone know? Now, yeah, all this can be removed as well. We need the beds. Um, that has been set. Tables and such has been set. Okay. Um. 
Maybe some more beds in the actual dormitory. That's all we have at the moment. So no one knows if we can unsuspend you know, with box select somehow. Please. Uh, sure. Prove everyone. Maybe I can check. Um, DF hack. Um, unsuspend. Um. Zoom. As you, uh, hmm, no. When enabled, display the colored coded X over the belt that there is suspended, making it easier to spot. Press the command to resume all suspended buildings. Time resuming the DFI console for using the instructions. There you go. Um, no. Resume. Um, so we go back to the surface. Don't see anything at the moment. Uh, they are showing at least. Um, resume all. 11 buildings resumed. Holy shit. And now there's no access. Ha! Huh. Yay! Success! I found a DF hack thing myself. <laughs> That's immensely useful. Uh, petition soldiering. Nice. Yeah, we want all the soldiers. Um. Yeah, uh, priority. That is. Yeah, that's been coming for a couple of years. And, uh, yeah, the the bird catch the worm, <laughs> the proto owl thing, <laughs> one over the earthworm. Um. Okay. Still so much idlers. That probably means the these guys are done again. Yeah. Um. We have some zinc and more silver. Oh, if we have more silver, I want more bolts to be made. Um, probably other furniture we can make out of zinc. Zinc. Um, let's make sure we have some extra barrels and bins. Bins probably also not enough. You have. You know what? Repeat that. Um, we still have 63 copper bars left. Um, I think we'll make sure everyone has a copper crossbow at least. Might not have enough of those in copper spears. And yeah. Um it really depends. This time I went for spear dwarves. Because spear dwarves uh, I had three dwarves which actually had some good skill in spear dwarving. Uh, otherwise, usually go for uh, yeah axes or just a mixed melee squad. Um, it depends, but always, always uh, uh, two squads of mm, uh, crossbow dwarves. That's too yeah way too important. And always have one squad patrolling the ramparts so they can shoot at birds. Yes, goddamn birds. Um, so, there are some unsuspended things we're gonna get again. So, resume all. Four buildings resumed. So immensely useful. Yay. Um, okay. You what? Know Been a while. Save the game.
Oh boy. It wasn't done saving yet. Oh fuck. I hope this loads. It does. Uh, yeah, that's not water in the moat. That's uh, just blue because the multi-level thing is on. Otherwise you see the numbers going in there because I always have the numbers in the moat. Uh, on water. Okay, well it loaded. Good. It's just a big pit, the moat. Four levels deep. Um. Okay. Yeah. Oh, did it save my stuff? Uh, what's the last thing I did? Hmm, so apparently there's not enough holding going on. Um. Like the staircase down here. Yeah, that has been added. He's actually done. Oh, and the uh, Forgotten Beast still there. Fighting things. I think it's saved. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's the whole idea to get uh, the pathfinding uh, better with these two rams. Apparently that's one of the best uh, setups. And hey, we're still at like 100 FPS, so that's good. Also, the one by one embark really helps with that. <laughs> that's so good. Um, okay. Let's make the beds here. Yeah. Well, previous versions haven't been as crashy. It's just this version has been pretty crashy. Uh, forty-two oh five five. But for early, we were playing with forty-two oh three or something. Don't think I've ever had a crash with that version. It just yeah, it depends a whole lot. <clears throat> okay. Oh, also, uh, for like the temple and such. Why are there like bands thrown around here? Pigtail trousers and a lamable dress. Why are they storing that in our fucking library? No, it's a bed now. What? No. Someone claimed this room. But it's. <laughs> Fuck. So selling a bed for to be the treasure, like the the library is bad because people can still claim the room. Huh? Maybe if I free the bed. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's not do this with beds then. Then we'll just do the normal. Uh, mini room way of things. This is now a meeting area, which is a location, which is the thing. This is now a meeting room, which is a location, which is the temple. My, my dwarves probably also want bedrooms on their own, real bad. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, we, we're kind of low on beds, but oh, um, approved soldering. Um, we're kind of low on wood. I mean, uh, yeah, need another thing for that. Um, what's the kid still going around? Lots of food. Seven idlers again. 
and the smiths. They do their jobs really fast now. They, they can't do anything else, so they will do it fast. I uh, got some electrum, lots of copper, not much else. Um, maybe some more copper spears as well. Some more copper crossbows. And some copper picks and axes after that silver order is done uh, migrants nice that's what I needed okay it's a throat dying true oh. over my drink uh, I should fix that one moment was much much in there, but uh, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, back. Uh, well, it was only a few drops of energy drink, but it's energy drink. <laughs> you can't let it lie there. Um, um, the success of dealing with the Underground Carnival of Fun? Not really. I know how to, uh, like, make sure you can see into the tube, but not release the monsters. But actually killing the circus? No. Well, maybe way back in the day when it was one of the earliest versions of the circus. I remember, like, actually building stuff in hell in the circus there. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so we have our make of migrants. We don't see any more exes walking around. Well, here's a, a straight piglet that someone took with them. Let's take a look at uh, the Dwarf Therapists. Okay, uh, do not read to be certain. Oh, it's quite the wave, nice. Um, uh, some of these must be the parts and soldiers I just got in here. Like this dude, wow. Master Marks Dwarf and Ambusher, nice, nice, nice. And I guess these two with the high skills are the other two? Uh, maybe not, well. Um, let's see. So there are some pretty high skilled dwarves. Um, should maybe also name them. Yeah, we're still busy with like the um, Patreon Dwarf naming list, by the way, if you want to get named in the fort yourself, like guaranteed, give me money at the Patreons, and you, for one buck a month you can sign up on the list and be in the fort. Um, there. So I think I was at, with the, nearly done with the Patreon naming list. Um, Italians, one of the last ones, War Fox, the Kandar I've seen. Uh, Mojo is in there. Yeah. Well, there's only a few left. So then I guess we can do, go to stream persons. Um, 
let's name the highest skilled people first. Like, you'll be an animal trader for a dog, maybe one day. You're Thorball. Silver Gauntlet. That fits. Yeah, it doesn't. This Torball then. Um, let's see. Good Tanner. Uh, good Tanner's not really necessary. We might be able to stick him into the military. A uh, good cook is necessary, though. Arts. Uh, two good tanners is definitely not necessary. Good furnace operator is, though. Rock Ridge. Uh, fish cleaners, we don't have any fish. Good gem cutter. We have one gem cutter guy. It's not as good as you are. Um, unfortunately, no great gem setter. Um, we just said. Fuck, at least. Some people. Art, I think, was the last one. Super Gecko. And more fish cleaners. That's the animal trainer. Uh, mechanics guy. Uh, wait a minute. Rockridge here should not have been named. Um, oh, no, whatever. We'll keep him there. This potato O'Connor. Uh, we'll keep you as rock rich, whatever. No, let's not do that for now. Uh, clean that. You, rock rich. Okay. Mechanics guy has been named. Uh, there's another mechanics guy. That's art. That's fine. Um, otherwise, skill wise. Nothing that really stands out. Um, military wise, let's save that for a second. Yeah. So for military, everyone who isn't named can go into the military. Um, let's see. Like you are a Master Marks Dwarf. Um, uh, let, let's also name these people. Yeah. Oh, we're on that. Uh, because there's only a couple left. Your Tashi. Uh, any more Marsh Dwarves? You. Uh, that's you. Oh, there's a. Uh, uh, Dodo. Uh, that's the list, basically. Um, good. Well, we're finally through that. Oh, that we could get some people on the stream. Maybe Gangster. Me boss. He very like a girl. That should maybe be more of a melee dwarf name, but uh, hey, now you're a marsh dwarf. Lots of people with Marks Dwarf skill this way, but it's amazing. Um, Ray Warrior 88. And that's everyone stalking lately, basically. Well, um, can't even name anyway, so L Dragon Zero. Okay. Um, these dwarfs. Um, I'll f find them in here. Um, 
Let's see the ones who aren't good in skills. Uh, uh, crossbow dwarves. Uh, I think dwarf dodo was like. No, he wasn't. Got an Xbox dwarves. Um, Hell Dragon Zero was one of them. Yeah, meatballs. This uh, might have been a useful dwarf. No. Uh, you were definitely going to be a ranged potato. I think was a useful one. Yeah, that's the mechanic. Uh, Ray Warrior. Rockridge, I think. Yeah, Game Cutter. Um, Tashi. It's too good no, not to put in the military. And, uh, oh, it's one of those. Box, sword ball, might have been, yeah, that's the Elm Trainer. Okay. <clears throat> um, I think that's about all. That list. Uh, let's find some more spear dwarves if possible. The guys who haven't been named. Uh, that might, that's you. Oh, you're in a for the military? What? Why? Because you're just arrived apparently. Spare dwarves. Me boss, I think, is already in one of the squads, yeah. Um so that's it. Anyone well, swords dwarves or whatever. Any of the military squads. Military dwarves. But you have some experience. Oh, this has guys high strength. Let's go to spare dwarves. What? Squad leader? Did I? Huh. Um. I guess I did. Um. Maybe if I do this again. Military, Spear Dwarfs. And now he's the leader of the squad. I guess the leader of the Spear Dwarfs was dead or something? Um, sure. That's why we probably got the message. Um, you got some nice stats. You. Lots of toughness, not much agility though. But that's probably enough for now. Um Okay. I wish I named those guys I just fucking <laughs> changed because I now don't know who is left now. Um but the equipment guys are the ones who are in a squad or whatever. Um, so let's name the rest. Need some more names. Hmm. Now now's the time to talk up if you're if you're lurking, <laughs> um, or as you scroll up a little bit in this chat. Let's do that. Kitchen. The curious. Um, you. Hey, Whitney Skunk. Um. I 
think that's about all. Didn't add that much. So, are there people who have equipment and are not named? You. Should help a little bit more. Um, from the top, equipment name, equipment name, equipment name. Okay, that's all set then. Um, let's save that immediately. Run for a second, save game. Please don't crash. Good. It will probably load. <laughs> War VA is dangerous for your health, especially in the military. But hey. Uh, so, military, yeah, we have lots of people. Okay, but there were more dwarves to be set. Uh, especially, I need some dedicated haulers. Like, I want a dedicated refuse hauler, I want a dedicated stone hauler, maybe even two of them. And uh, let's set that. Um, stone hauler, maybe be a guy with actually some strength in him. So, let's see if we can find anyone with that. We have, I think, yeah, you. You're not named. Um, okay. We have some strength. You're uh, one gold Koenig. You. Um, well, now. Do nothing but hold stones for the rest of your life. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, any other ones with strength? At least some of their here. Yeah. Um going up again. Uh Maneldor the Swift so probably won't fit, so I'll just do Maneldor. You have a tad of strength. Maneldor. You will do nothing in your life except hauling stone. Good. <laughs> no problem. Um, I want a de dedicated refuse hauler as well. Uh, doesn't matter what he has for skills or stats. So let's take the first guy over here. Um, name him to make it easier for the future. Need more names? Um, scroll up some more. Skippy Canola. <laughs> you were, you're still lurking? You can haul trash for the rest of your life. Poor Skippy. Um, there you go. Refuse hauling. Go. Um, let's see. Any more? You I probably also should have a food hauler. Um, that's all the names I see in chat. I think I've named everyone by now. Hmm. Not hard. <laughs> um food hauler named though. Uh, total hauling. Just food. And you'll be named... Thank you, I know. <laughs> um, hmm. 
Hmm, could just maybe add the dwarf name, like if I press OK now. Does it show up as it something? Yes. His name. His name. Fine. Also, no, the fort has no fish. <laughs> so you will not be fish hauling, fish cleaning. Um, I think I put you into the military. Yeah, your equipment here, so you're actually a... Probably a spear dwarf. By the looks of things. Um, okay, that's at least the doors I wanted set. Um, yeah, maybe another glass dwarf or two. Um, I've never fished underground. I don't like to open the caves. <laughs> Forgotten beasts come out of there. Um, I guess we won't name you yet. It's not super important. Here, do glass making. Do glass making. Uh, maybe an extra mason or two. Mason. Mason. And um, everyone can do architecture. Okay. That was a bit to set up. Oh! Um, instead of those unnamed dwarves, I should put them like in the library or in the temple or some such. I need dwarves to that as well. Uh, so you... Uh, let's call you... Innkeeper or something. Name. Let's see the social skills. Everyone from this list who isn't named, uh, who has, I don't know, good social skills. Well, it's hard to find out. Um, well, not you. Top here, not really. Belsa. You're now innkeeper. Um, go. Um, this is the inn. No, I need to use the L menu for that. The Lemmy of Sinew is our inn. Tavern Keeper will be innkeeper. Uh, probably somewhere at the bottom. Oh boy. E I'm fucking blind in cases like this. There's no search for it yet either. I'm looking for all the ins. Um, has it not been added in the dwarf therapist yet or something? Oh, he is one of the non dwarfs anyway. That's the problem. Uh, he's probably one of the fucking spoony bards. Um. Okay. Well, then it doesn't really fucking matter. Uh, oh, wait. Um. So, somewhere like Tolbon at the bottom here is the least important. You'll be innkeeper. Add that to the game. Now go back into the tavern. Add a tavern keeper. Uh, not the performer, but the tavern keeper. Should be an innkeeper. Yeah. Blacksmith. I have a better blacksmith. Don't do blacksmithing anymore. And have other people who can do metal crafting. Uh, okay. We have an in tavern keeper. Uh, then we need someone for the temple. Opok over here.
Temple Keeper. L. Temple Performer. Temple Keeper. Sure. It's not like we're gonna use a woodcutter. And someone for the library. We ha might have actually someone with good library skills. Like from way back. Like you. And that is Mojo. He is good at book binding. Um, I think that should be the scribe then. He also does some butchery, but I have more butchers around. Okay, so Mojo will be the scribe. I think. Uh, scribe, enter Mojo there. No, not the score. Damn. Um, nobody. Scribe. It's Mojo. Could we set maybe Mojo for the same jobs, like and be the scribe and be the scholar? Um. No, we cannot. I think the scribe is the one that copies books, and the scholar is the one that uh, researches things. Whew, um, who's left? Kill. You're now the scholar. Yeah, exit is to be sure. Press the button here. L Treasury Scholar S for Scholar. There. There's still one guy left who isn't doesn't have a job. Uh maybe Adam is a performer for the tavern. And who is that guy? Mestos. Now maybe we'll keep him as a glassmaker. And maybe also have some masonry on the side so that gets actually built. Ah. I think we're done. Finally. That was important though. We needed a lot of those jobs, especially those hauling jobs. Like, you really need to be done since we have a deep forging bureau. We need some dwarves who can actually get... Yeah, who aren't in the deep forging bureau and will hold a stone here. So, uh, we'll keep it like this. Uh, let's save again. We've done, like, a couple of ticks in-game. But, uh... He did all the setup work. Okay. Also, I have a call up prepared. Uh, also, how close are we to the two hour mark? Uh, 20 minutes left. Okay. <laughs> uh, the game paused, so we'll have time for the next migrant wave. Um, how much bars do we have? Still a lot of copper. Uh, not much of the rest. Let's see. Let's get borders again, though. Uh, at least these are being finally built. The glass furnaces. Didn't I have, have like a stockpile down here for just sandbags? Yes, but I turn off too much stuff. Um, there. Just sandbags in there. Okay. Uh, no, that's serious before. Well, other people also help with the stone hauling. 
Here's my nail door. Um, they have like like set uh, the mushroom man. Yeah, plump helmet man. <laughs> the bedrooms here. There's a little dormitory going on and a little dining room, and there's actually food in the dining room as well. Um, well, there is food, not much drink though. That really needs to be hauled as well. That's why I also put in the, the solo food hauler. Um, getting this cave as well would be nice, but... Thing is, you can't build walls like right next to there. On the surface. The closest I can build a wall is like five tiles away. So it'd be, whilst it's multiple tiles high, so it would be pretty hard to wall this off. Um, it would be a nice source of trees though if I got this. I guess I could do the bridge setup thing and rush in there with a woodcutter and chop everything down and try and haul everything inside. Hmm. Maybe we should set that up. Uh, instead of just actually trying to wall it off. Is there maybe a part of it which is easier to wall off? Uh, I think this pathway kinda is already is. It's another cap tree trunk stuck here. For the block kinda blocking the way. Multiple levels of this make it pretty hard. Hmm. Let me think. Uh, petition available. Soldiering approved. Um, like five away from the wall, that would be here, and it would be like multiple levels. Very annoying. And left side here. This is bad. No, not yet that less bad. I guess this would be easy enough to block off this little pathway. Yeah, two levels though. And wherever you're dealing with multiple levels is hard. Uh, up here, I guess a wall here ish. Maybe we should just try. Some dudes, yeah, they just walk around. <laughs> now that's something scary might come out. There's more scary stuff than the mushroom men in these deeper caves. This is the deepest cave level. That's better than the first cave level at the moment. There's the. Uh, no. uh, forgotten beasts in there. Still having fun by the looks of it. Killing lots of things. And there's no tree growth in here. First hand the idea to like get this level blocked off. It's not that high up. It's like two levels. But uh, I'm happy I didn't. <laughs> uh, the second level is like all water. So it's not, not really possible to do that. There are trees in there but... No, walling this off will be not... Really possible and lower level here this possible would be a pain uh, how do I make a safe setup for this uh, first of all bridge and probably the entrance into the pathway have a hatch on that as well um, also a room here where they can store all the wood. Uh, pretty close to here. Let's see. Why don't we like this pathway is like safe down here, right? 
Mm, not really, we blocked it off. So let's not use that, but we can do something here. This is the same level. Like we have this is a wood storage room. Um then we'll put a bridge here. And here will be the entrance to the cave. Uh no, it should be a level above it. That would be better. So we can use a hatch at the end. Um, we could even like make a way bigger stockpile over here with stockpile. Just normal 4x4. Uh, that connects to the rest of the fortress. Then. Let's see. This goes down level. Down which stair? Nope, not there. <laughs> down. Yeah, upward stair. Connection to here. This is where the actual bridge will be. And down here. Uh, we can put a hatch. Uh, yeah, I'm live. So yeah, we can even like do double hatches, here a hatch, here a hatch, and on whatever is down here I can connect to like the caves. Uh, probably connect on multiple pathways, and that would make it a sort of safe, with a big sort of. <laughs> and then I try and wall the place in. Probably also smart, if I have a collection of rock blocks here before I'm ready uh, before I start so maybe have another storage make just make this one bigger we'll have a rock block storage in here and wood storage so we can build all the blocks as soon as possible yeah And yeah, then well, I guess we'll try and capture the cave. That'll be fun. But then we'll actually have a source of wood, so it is definitely worth doing it. Just hope nothing scary really shows up. Well, and I'll have to get my, my military in here. Might also be smart to like have some archery towers going on. Like... Um, I dig out some spots over here. So they can shoot and stuff. Uh, upstairs. Uh, sure, connect that. Um, This as well, maybe from a level above. Ah, do it on this level, it's easier to see. Upstairs. I. Um, down there. No, that comes out here. I don't want that. Um, let's see. 
there. Is this a safe pathway? Oh no, that, that's the one that uh, got the magma crab in my fortress. Um, I guess we can just connect uh, here. Okay, we'll have like three archery tower spots. Uh, what are those things? Flesh balls. This large ball of skin is found moving around the debris near underground ponds. It is there that it absorbs dead matter for food. This flesh is peeled chestnut. It's a ball of flesh. Fun times. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, it isn't. Uh, Toxigene. No, it isn't. <laughs> no deep source code. It's like his magnum opus, he doesn't want to share it like that. <laughs> and like get all the DF clones uh like in. <laughs> no, you're a refuse hauler, Skippy. <laughs> you're not a flesh ball. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're both. Also, we're near the two R mark now. And uh, yeah, lots of digging has to be done here anyway. Uh, I'll let the game run in the background. Well, I'll save first since I did a couple of things. Touche. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'll let the game run in the background. I'll take a little bit of a break. I'll be back in 5 to 10 minutes. Okay. Um, see you guys in a moment.